How's it going, everyone? This is Brad Williams with Over 40 Fitness Hacks. I have my new season co-star with me, Juliana Hever. How's it going, Juliana? Great. How you doing, Brad? Very good. Thank you for being on our show. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Well, let's, let's dive into that one, um, your newest book, uh, The Choose You Now Diet. And it incorporates what you were just saying, like it's mindfulness, a few other things. It's not just, uh, here's a manual plant-based diet. Here you go. Bye. So what's, what's, what's kind of the theme behind that, that newest book? It's evolved out of my conversations with my clients. I like to, cool. yeah, I, it's amazing because it's food is one thing. And that's what my TEDx talk was about is how food is not just food. Food is, it's like breaking bread. It is relationships and love and religion and culture and history. And so everything is based on food. We socialize over food. We celebrate with food. Everything is surrounding food. So you know, while I can give people all the nutrition information in the world and it's all outlined in all of my books, what really makes the transformation that I take my clients through is dealing with all the psychosocial things that take place around food. So dealing with all the stories, there's so many stories about why we <laughs> eat, what we eat, when we eat. And, uh, and so I help my clients navigate that. So this Choosing Now Diet is evolved out of my conversations with hundreds of clients who have gone through extraordinary transformation. My clients literally lose, predictably, 0.5 to 0.8 pounds a day on average throughout the whole weight loss process. And I've had people lose the last 10 pounds up to like 100 plus pounds. And it's always very predictable. I know exactly what, what they're going to see if they do A, B, and C. And so I've outlined that in this book of what to, how to like kind of you know, use objective tools and measurements. And then I talk about the social part of it. And then what I offer the one-on-ones is like accountability. Cause like, you know, my clients have to submit a food journal. They have to submit their weight at the end of the week before we talk again. And it's powerful to have to be accountable to someone because even if you have all the information in the world, doing it and executing it is a different story. Mm -hmm. Very complicated. And one of my uh, previous guests, uh, she was a psychology major. Um, and part of her thing was studying, you know, the psychology behind food and some of those social situations and everything. And, and she had this little ladder you climb, you know, first pick your diet, then you start, you clear out your house of all the kind of bad foods. And then third one is as you're, as you're experiencing all these foods, like start showing gratitude for, for what you're eating. And, And in my head, I took it as just savoring it. And she, she said exactly that, like, slow down, savor what's, what's going on. And it starts almost brainwashing you that, oh, and you start getting excited about, you know, trying new recipes and staying with what you're, what you're doing. But I think that psychological uh, mindfulness, you like, you need, you need to do that or else you're never going to st- stick with it. We, I mean, how many times have you gotten to the bottom of a popcorn bag or a bag of chips or cookies and didn't even remember eating them? Like you're watching a movie or you're in front of your computer, you've got your phone in one hand and your whatever stuff going on. If we actually pay attention to what we eat and while, while we eat and chewing our food really, really well, our whole body responds to that. So it's, it's like a mind body thing, but it's also very proactive and, you know, you'll, you'll eat less because it's, you know, mindful, you're present in the moment. And, you know, it's a, it's a very old philosophy, obviously, of being mindful and present, but it's something that most of us get caught up in our lives and it's really hard to stick to. So constantly reminding people to be in that moment is a powerful exercise that, I mean, I know, you know, they say you, you teach what you want to learn. And so this is something that I've been focusing on a lot for myself personally, and it's been quite magnificent how it's changed my life. That's awesome. It's just that you referencing the popcorn thing. That's, that's kind of my thing with my wife, you know, watching movies, we create, get some popcorn and we sit there and it's just hand over hand over hand. And I think the mentality for me is like, I need to keep going or else she's going to eat more, more than my, uh, her share. She's going to start getting into my share. You know, we're too lazy <laughs> to put it in two separate bowls, but it's like, I'm not eating it be- because I'm hungry. I'm just, I got to get it before. She- that's like a, you know, probably built into my genetic code. <laughs> or do you have Survival. sibling? Uh, I have uh, two siblings, older and younger. Yeah, that could be part of it too. That could be. But no, we are. We are actually biologically, what you said is accurate. We are biologically adapted to survive. And survival means eating high calorie food 
as often as possible when it's available. The problem is that because that was when we evolved in a scarce world, a world of scarcity. We are now in a world of abundance where we could have anything delivered any time of the day. Now we literally have, you know, all these apps. You could just push the, I want this food from this place and it'll be on your doorstep. So any time of day, you could eat anything we have access to hyper palatable food that's really high in calorie and fat and very low in nutrition. And that is why we have such a, a really big problem. So our bodies haven't adapted yet to this, this abundant world that we are trying to navigate nowadays. Yeah. So uh, going back to your, uh, your book, the choose you, choose you now, correct? Yes. Um, going back to your book, choose you now. Um, is it part of the, the program is to start tracking calories and, and going through the recipes and everything, or it's basically just tips and tricks of all the clients you've had. And this is what's worked of how to stay on this and what you should be mindful of or. I do not count calories, macronutrients. Okay. I don't recommend any of that. I think it just makes people crazy and it doesn't mm-hmm. help. You know, we, we know that there's no way to adequately and accurately calculate how much we're taking in and how much we're putting out in any way that's going to be meaningful. And yeah. so more so using mindfulness. So I use, obviously I want you to eat a healthy diet. And so I, ta- I outline what a healthy diet looks like and how to prioritize foods and what foods tend to do the best. But um, I also talk about when you eat, you know, I, I use time-restricted feeding. It's been an incredibly powerful tool. And so I basically outline what to eat, why to eat, when to eat, but it's a very structured program. Mm-hmm. And, then, um, and then all the recipes that make it delicious because I want you to love your food. Yeah. Well, I think that's with uh, any diet where people f- start falling off is, you know, they get so ingrained in counting the calories and everything. And then they miss a couple days and they just get frustrated and quit. And that, and, wow. you know, calories probably do matter, but on a plant-based diet, you couldn't hit what you're probably supposed to eat in calories or even by the oh. calculators out there because it's, it's so nutrient dense and so much fiber. It's so hard to, to get those calories up. Well, I, I would, it's changed a lot because now of all these processed plant-based products out there. So it's very actually easy. Well, they shouldn't eat those though, right? Right. Because that's why I want you to see the whole plant foods. But yeah, but I just think that no matter what you do, it doesn't matter. Counting just doesn't help. And it's just like mentally it's exhausting and it's, it's frustrating because you're like, I only eat this many calories. Why did the scale not go down? And because it's really more about all the other stuff, it's all the other that gets in the way. And a lot of people don't know too, you know, when you make some switches, they expect in one day or two days to see the benefits from that. No, 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 no. Something you do today, it's not really even going to show for like a week from now. So, you know, you got to gotta give yourself a, a decent amount of time to, to switch like, to something like this plant-based and uh, then make your decision, you know, how you feel, how you look. And usually, you know, 30 to 60 days is kind of the time frame I ask even my personal training clients to give me. You know, I don't want to hear every day text messages every day of, you know, why the, the scale's not going down or anything. No, no, no. Just 30 day mark, then 60 day mark. And we'll go from there. I see clients have tremendous results really quickly, but the, what you're saying about consistency is the number one thing for anything, right? If a fitness program, it's, you know, you can't just work out once and then why don't I have big biceps? Like it's like, it's not possible. It's all an accumulation of those habits and habits are what create the foundation for your success ongoing. Yep, exactly. So, uh, Juliana, is there what what else do you have in the in the lining the stars for shows or any more books or are you kind of just after this book taking a little hiatus? I always say that because I have two biological <laughs> children and then I have seven written children and it's like I'm going to get it in my hands like next week for the first time and it's so so every time I'm like I'm never I always tell my friends and family don't let me do another book and they're like yeah 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 because then you have the book you make the book and it's in your hands you're like oh what's the next one I've already pitched two, <laughs> two next books to my publishers the day after I, I um, submitted my manuscript but I guess that's kind of what I do but you know, I'm, I'm doing coaching. I'm going to be doing more group setting type of things. I, I just start, launched a new thing called plant-based dietitian in the kitchen because people are asking for like getting into the kitchen and like the details. So I'm going to, my first class is a holiday meals class and I'll do stuff like batch cooking and oil-free cooking and, and meal planning and prepping and all that stuff just to help people kind of get down and dirty in the kitchen and kind of have some practical skills. So I'm going to start doing more of that. I have my podcast, the Choose You Now podcast, where I've been interviewing people about the whys, why we do things and what motivated these people in their paths of, of 
inspiration. And yeah, I, who knows what's on the horizon. I'm constantly out there and love what I do. I love waking up in the morning and getting to help people and, and different media. And it's just been, I feel really grateful to be able to do this. That's great. Love the passion. That's why we all stay in this business or I mean, in anyone's business, as long as you have passion for it, you know, just, just shows. Um, so Juliana, what's the, what's the best way uh, some of our listeners can get a hold of you? Are you on social media, LinkedIn, uh, website? Why don't you tell them? Yes, thank you. I'm yeah. at plantbaseddietitian.com. So if you go to plantbaseddietitian.com, you can find all my social media, but I'm on all of them. I'm on Instagram as Juliana Hever and Facebook as Plant Based Dietitian and Twitter as Plant Dietitian and my name also for YouTube, Juliana Hever. Awesome. And uh, everyone knows I'll, I'll put the, all the links in the descriptions to the podcast on uh, Spotify and Apple so they can just click on it and get there too. So, um, But Juliana, thank you for being on our show. It was a treat and I wanted to get someone in the plant-based world and you were, you were the perfect fit. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you.